he says, welcome back. I've been toying with the idea of doing a best love video. But everyone has done their own 10 best movies of 2018. So being a filmmaker, I thought I'd do something different. I'm going to count down the best diversity films of 2018 because without diversity, I would not be here. Without diversity, I would be a filmmaker. I've finished two films so far and I always cast diverse people so it's nice to know that other people are also invested in supporting diversity. Sorry to Bother You is a film by Boots Collins. Overall, I like this film because it represents what it feels like to be poor and to feel that the world is against you. It also shows how hard work can pay off and lift you out of poverty. What I didn't like was how the film went off the rails in the third act. Yes, I got them what they were talking about and why, but I thought it made a great film feel cheaper. A Wrinkle in Time was directed by Ava DuVernay. It's the first time that a woman of color had been tapped to help a hundred million dollar film. Stars Oprah Winfrey, Mindy Kaling, Michael Pena. The only problem with this film is that it's unfilmable. A Wrinkle in Time has been in production a few times and it's been deemed unfilmable because the plot is too complicated and it's better suited as a book. This film proves it. I'm glad Ava DuVernay has other projects. I want to see more from her. Black Klansman is a spectacle film about a black police officer and his white partner who take down a huge Klux Klan cell. It makes it us because it's a true story, as crazy as it sounds, along with the fact that it's really good. Book Club is a film that stars Diane Keenan, Jane Fonda, Candace Bergen, and Mary Sneenbergen. This film is filmed with actors who are over 50, and that's why it makes the list. Plus, this is the first time that Dakota Johnson and Don Johnson have had hit movies in the same year. Dakota Johnson had 50 Shades Free and Bad Times at the El Royale. Quiet Place stars John Wurzinski, Emily Blunt, and Melissa Simmons. This horror movie is unique in the fact that people have to stay quiet and to go unnoticed by the monsters. Casting included an actress with a hearing impairment, which was an asset to the story instead of a hindrance. Ocean's 8 was a reimagining of the Ocean series in which women were cast in roles that are usually reserved for men. The diversity cast in film and $300 million at the box office. The Hate You Give is a film that explores how violence against diverse populations affect children, too, because, of course, they do. Love, Simon is a well-cast, well-acted rom-com like the John Hughes films of the 80s with a difference. Simon, the main character, is trying to find love as a gay teen. It's a very believable, heartwarming film that treats love as love. 
Over the Christmas holiday, I watched it with my girlfriend, and she liked it as much as I did. The characters were motivated by acceptance, just like everyone is. And the story is simple and powerful. Searching is a found video film that tracks the disappearance of David Kim's daughter, Margot Kim. David Kim is played by John Cho, and without his standout performance, this film would have fallen flat. It's one of the 2018 films that proved that Asian leads are bankable. This film, this film is about every parent's nightmare and their social media age. Their child is missing, and all that remains are social media breadcrumbs. Widows is like Ocean's Eight in that it bends gender stereotypes by casting women in traditionally male roles. It's really about the strength of women, which isn't really discussed in many films. It stars Viola Davis, Michelle Rodriguez, Elizabeth Gubegi, and Liam Neeson. The Widows become widows after Liam Neeson leads their husbands into a botched heist of two million dollars. Now, the widows are on the hook for the money and time is running out. This movie was real to me because while I grew up in a two-parent household, some of my friends grew up in a single-parent household, and their mothers always came through for them. This film represents an extreme choice where all women make sacrifices. Shout out to Elizabeth DeBecky for her stellar performance as an abused woman who rises above. Because a lot of women are abused and go on to better circumstances. Women are strong. Women raise nearly all the children in the world. Black Panther was a pleasant surprise. It was nearly a perfect script expertly directed by Ryan Coogler. But really, it may have been the perfect script because all the characters were real. There wasn't one drunken character in the film. Women and men were equally as powerful, and it just made for an amazing film experience. I put Crazy Rich Asians last because it meant the most to me. I am part Asian, Japanese and Korean. Yes, I'm not Chinese or from Singapore, but the result is the same. I felt seen. Crazy Rich Asians was the first major Hollywood film with an Asian cast that featured a modern story. Nick and Rachel were going to Singapore for his cousin's wedding. The only problems are Rachel doesn't know that Nick's family is super rich. And Nick's family doesn't know that Rachel is Chinese American. How can Rachel prove herself as a worthy mate for Nick to Nick's mother? The characters were just as entertaining as the characters of Big Fat Green Wedding, which is the standard for the ethnic crossover film. Most of the time, an Asian character is shown its token as in the guy who sells gizmo to the main characters in Gremlins, or the Chinese restaurant owner or the martial artist looking for his brother's killer. 
They are not whole peoples. They are not whole characters. In crazy regulations, they are whole characters who can take you in just like your family would. Crazy rich agents pulled off a big box office upset, letting more than 200 million worldwide off of a $30 million budget. As always, thank you for visiting me today. Like and subscribe. Visit my links in the comments below. And have a great day.